Welcome to Crosstalk Solutions. My name's Chris. We've got a little bit of a different angle for you today because we are going to be looking at some of the switches that I have behind me. And I want to show you guys how easy it is to interconnect switches with fiber patch cables utilizing SFP modules. Okay, so what I have here are a couple of switches. I've got a, a Unify Switch 8 150 watt. This is the 8 port 150 watt version uh, Unify switch. And then I've got a 24 port edge switch light. So these are ubiquity switches, but what I'm gonna be showing you can be done with any switches that have SFP modules. There's just a few things that you have to know to be able to interconnect them successfully. Okay, so the SFP modules that I'm going to be using to connect these together today are from 10G Tech. Now, I mentioned these modules in a previous video and I got a lot of questions about, well, Chris, how come you're using these 10G Tech modules when Ubiquiti just came out with their own line of SFP modules? Well, at the time that I bought these, Ubiquiti's SFP modules weren't available yet. So they were out and released, but no one had them in stock. So I ended up getting these modules from 10G Tech. Now, I don't know if the Ubiquiti ones are available today. I haven't checked. Um, maybe they are, but typically when Ubiquiti releases a new product, you're looking at a good two to three months before it's actually readily available for purchase you know, all around the internet. So these ones are available today. These are the 10G Tech um, standard SFP modules. So these are relatively cost effective. They're about the cheapest ones that I could find for SFP modules. They are made specifically for Ubiquity equipment and they work very well. So I'm happy with these 10G Techs. They're not a sponsor of mine or anything. I didn't get these for free. I actually did pay for them. Uh, but they work well. So what do you need to know when you're going to be installing SFP modules? Well, the first thing you know, I need to know is the type of port that you have. So there's SFP and there's SFP plus. In my case, it's easy because I only have SFP modules, SFP being one gigabit, SFP plus being 10 gigabit. These devices only have SFPs, but some of the larger Ubiquiti switches and the Ubiquiti fiber switches are all SFP plus or have SFP plus modules on the switches themselves. So the next thing that you need to know is that they need to be compatible on both sides, right? So SFP needs to connect to SFP. And then you also need to know the speed. So one gigabit and one gigabit. And then you also need to know the type of fiber being used. So you've got single mode fiber or multi-mode fiber. In this case, I'm doing one gigabit multi-mode fiber. So the SFP modules, as well as the patch cables that you're using all have to be multi-mode fiber or the same type of fiber, multi-mode or single mode and the same speed. So as far as the fiber patch cables themselves, the pretty standard end is the LC connector, right? So I'm doing an LC to LC connector. It looks like this. Let's see if I can get that to focus. There we go. So there's your standard LC connectors. And uh, what I'm gonna do here is zoom in on this equipment and then I will show you plugging this stuff in. And I'm also gonna have a persistent ping running on my desktop that I will put up on the screen. Um, my computer is over here plugged into this Unify switch. And my internet is over here plugged into this edge switch. So when I disconnect the cross connect, that's the ethernet cross connect that's currently running between these two switches, I'm gonna see my persistent ping drop. I'm gonna start losing packets and then it should come back up once I plug in the SFPs and the fiber patch cable. Okay, so let me zoom in and let's go ahead and get started on the next part of this video. Okay, so here we go. We've got my two SFP modules here. I'm gonna go ahead and take those out of the box. When you get your SFP modules, they're going to have, uh, I put it on manual focus so it wouldn't go out of focus and now I can't zoom in, but they're going to have these little rubber stoppers in them. So you just wanna take out the rubber stoppers. Do that on both sides here. Of course, it's always a good idea to be working in a good, clean, static-free environment, unlike what I'm doing here today. Okay, so I've got the stoppers pulled out of here. Um, there's also going to be little rubber stoppers in the switches themselves, so you want to pull those out as well. So one here and one here. So I'm just going to go from SFP1 to SFP1. Uh, before I do that, though, this is the cross-connect. You can see that it connects from port nine over here on my uh, edge switch over to port eight over here on my un uh, Unify switch. So we're gonna disconnect that cable and when I do that, we're gonna see my persistent ping, which I should have up on the screen here somewhere, uh, drop. We're gonna start losing packets. So let's go ahead and pull that now. 
Okay, there we go. These switches are now no longer connected and we are getting requests timed out on the persistent ping. Okay, so let's install our SFP modules. Okay, so the first one here, uh, we're just gonna stick right in. They only fit in one way, so if you've got it wrong, it's pretty easy to just figure out which way it actually goes in. And you wanna push it all the way in until it clicks. Uh, let me do the one over here as well. Okay, click. So now I've got SFP plugged in here. I've got SFP plugged in here. Now this is a one meter patch cable, but uh, these patch cables, again, I'm zoomed in so you can't really see this, uh, or I'm manual focus so you can't really see this, but these have these little plugs here uh, to protect the ends of the cable. So you wanna pull out all of these white little plugs on both sides of the LC connector. And then you simply plug these right into the SFPs on both sides. Click. And click. Now, as soon as I plug those in, we're gonna, we should see it come up. There we go. And now we have started pinging again. I can ping out to the internet. And these switches are now patched with fiber instead of ethernet. Okay, so there you go. That's a real quick look at how to interconnect two switches using SFP or using a fiber patch cable. Really, really super simple. It's as long as you do your due diligence up front and make sure that both sides are equal in terms of the speed, the type of SFP that you're using, as well as the type of fiber that you're using, single mode or multi-mode, chances are you're gonna be fine. And if you're looking for a list of compatible SFPs for Ubiquiti devices, just Google search Ubiquiti compatible SFPs. And there's a couple of different uh, Ubiquiti knowledge base articles or forum posts that have full lists of compatible SFPs. Um, I recommend the, G, the 10 GTEC ones only because I've used them. I know they are very cost effective and they work very well. However, if you're unsure and it's been enough time and the Ubiquiti SFPs are available, I think the Ubiquiti SFPs were about the same price point as the 10 GTECs. Very cost effective. Um, I just haven't personally worked with them yet, but that's probably a really safe bet if you're buying Ubiquiti SFPs for Ubiquiti equipment. It's a very safe bet that it's actually gonna all work perfectly. So I'm gonna put links in the description below to not only the 10 g Tech SFPs that I use here, but also um, the Ubiquiti SFPs as well, if I can find them on Amazon. These will be Amazon affiliate links. So if you guys are interested in checking those out, go ahead and click on the links below to take a look at those products. Okay, so that about does it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. My name's Chris with Crosstalk Solutions. If you did enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please click subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.